good wishes to all of you geography for upsc this is a book from bios uh, i'm just reading this book and making this as a audio book chapter 1 origin and understanding of universe audio book origin of the universe evolution of the universe the solar system the planet earth the moon here we have covered these topics origin of the universe early theories different philosophers and scientists gave different hypotheses regarding the origin of the earth among us those one of the earlier and famous hypothesis was given by german philosopher immanuel kant after that it was revised in 1796 by a mathematician laplace his theory known as the nebular hypothesis argued that the sun was rotating slowly and the formation of planets was associated with a cloud of material related to a youthful sun later chamberlain and moulton in 1900 considered that a wandering star approached the sun consequently a material was moulton in consequently a material was extended in cigar shape and got separated from the solar surface with the moving of the passing star that separated material from the solar surface continued to revolve around the sun and then got condensed slowly formating forming the planets this argument was also supported by sir james jeans and later sir harold jeffrey at a later date the arguments considered a companion to the sun to have been coexisting and these arguments are called binary theories later otto schmidt in russia and karl vyjasker in germany revised the nebular hypothesis in 1950 they argued that the sun was surrounded by a solar nebula containing mostly hydrogen helium and dash it also argued that a disk shaped cloud was formed due to the friction and collision of particles and the planets were formed through the process of accretion however later scientists took up the problem of the origin of the entire universe and not just that of the earth or the planets modern theories the big bang theory of expanding universe hypothesis in 1920 edwin hubble provided evidence suggesting that the universe is expanding or we can say that the distance between the galaxies were found to be increasing and as the time crosses galaxies will further move apart according to the big bang theory there are following three stages in the development of the universe first at the very beginning all the matter that formed the universe existed in the form of a tiny ball singular atom at one place which had infinite temperature and density and an unimaginably small volume second the tiny ball violently exploded at the big bang which led to its huge expansion presently the event of the big bang is widely accepted and it is considered that it took place 13.7 billion years ago some energy was converted into matter as it grew also the rapid expansion occurred within fractions of a second after the bang after which the expansion has slowed down the first atom began to form just within the first 3 minutes after the big bang even even presently the expansion continues third the temperature dropped to 4500 kelvin within 3 lakh years from the event of the big bang and the atomic matter emerged the universe became transparent and its expansion which means an increase in the space between the galaxies is evident however scientists believe that even though the distance between the galaxies is increasing it is not supported by the observations that the expansion of galaxies is happening singularity the big bang singularity and expansion of the universe 
सोर्स एन सी आर टी होलेस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेडी स्टेट होलेस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेडी स्टेट वॉज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव टू द बिग बैंग थीरी विच सजेस्टेड दैट द यूनिवर्स वुड बी द सेम एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड इज नॉट इट इज नॉट एक्सपांडिंग ऑल द लेटर ओन मच एविडेंस केम आउट प्रूविंग द एक्सपांडिंग स्टेट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स दिस एविडेंस लेड टू द scientific community favoring the argument of expanding the universe evidence that proves the universe is expanding redshift of objects in the universe the movement of objects related related to us is measured using the doppler shift which helps us identify the other identify the objects of coming towards us or receding us with the help of its frequency in the same context light also has a doppler shift whereby its frequency shifts based on the motion of the light emitting object if the objects are coming towards us it will have a blue shift shift in the frequency of light towards blue color but if it red recedes us it will have a red shift red shift in the light frequency towards red color now astronomers have observed red shift of the light from distant distant objects in the universe thus it proves that the objects are receding away from us hubble law this law suggests that the velocity of recession is proportional to the distance of the galaxy from us astronomer edwin hubble measured in 1929 the velocities of a large selection of galaxies and found that the majority of galaxies are moving away from us the present of cosmic microwave background cmb according to the big bang theory the early universe was a very hot place and the gas within it gets cool as it expands this means there should be radiation meaning the leftover heat from the big bang called the cosmic microwave background or cmb all over the universe thus the existence of the cmb radiation was observed in 1965 by arno benzias and robert wilson presently the temperature of the cmb radiations is at 2.725 degrees above absolute zero formation of the stars take a look at this figure how stars are formed source big history project how are stars formed one a lot of matter gravity and small differences in matter exist in space in hotter areas gravity becomes stronger and stars to clump matter together gravity increases so matter keeps clumping together faster and faster atoms being begin banging into each other violently raising the temperature eventually nuclear fusion occurs fusion occurs and the matter is turned into pure energy a new star formation of the stars in the early phase of the universe the matter and energy was not distributed eventually creating density differences this density differences give rise to differences in gravitational forces this eventually resulted in the matter drawing together which formed the base for the development of stars and galaxies the hydrogen gas started accumulating as a huge cloud called nebula which grows and eventually develops localized clumps of gas these clumps further develop and take the form of more dense gaseous bodies This gives rise to the formation of stars. It is believed that the stars were formed some 5 to 6 billion years ago. Formation of the galaxies. Galaxies are basically an entity gravitationally binding the dark matter, gas, dust and stars. The density difference differences and differences in gravitational force result in the matter drawing together which forms the basis of our the development of galaxies a large number of stars together from galaxies that spread over vast distances 
the distance of galaxies and stars can be measured in thousands of light years. The individual galaxies can have diameters ranging ranging from 80,000 to 150,000 light years. Galaxies mainly reside in cluster and groups and it is, it is assumed that over 100 billion galaxies exist in the universe. Galaxies are mainly of three types. Elliptical galaxies, these are in a sphere or, or an elongated sphere shape. But we can only see only two dimensions of these galaxies in the sky. They look like elliptical or oval shaped disks spiral galaxies a bulk disk and halo are the main components of the spiral galaxies the bulk is found in the center of the galaxy as a spherical structure which generally contains older stars the disk comprises dust gas and younger stars and forms arm structures our galaxy the milky way is a spiral galaxy and the sun is located in an arm of our galaxy irregular galaxies they have no regular structure or are asymmetrical major types of galaxies in the universe spiral galaxy elliptical galaxy irregular galaxy Formation of the planets and the solar system. The planets were developed through the following stages. First is First is the stars are localized lumps of gas within a nebula. In the stage of development, a core to the gas cloud is formed due to the gravitational force. Also around this gas core, a huge rotation, rotating disk of gas and dust starts developing. Second stage, in this stage of development, the condensation of the gas cloud begins and the matter develops as small circular objects around the core. With the help of the process of cohesion, these small circular objects develop into planet estimals which comprises a large number of smaller bodies due to the collision and gravitational attraction. The matter sticks together and larger bodies are formed. Third and the final stage. In this stage of development, a large number of such small planetesimals combine to form fewer large bodies called planets. These planets in a group created the solar system. It is supposed that our planets were formed about 4.6 billion years ago. And the nebula which formed our solar system started its collapse and core formation about 5 to 5.6 billion years ago. Evolution of the universe. Take a look at this figure. Evolution of the universe source factsjustforkids.com big bang dark ages 380000 years first stars appear 300 million years early galaxies appear 1 billion years formation of the solar system 9 billion years modern galaxies time today Sometimes around 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system formed from a large and dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. The solar system was formed in the following stages. Supernova. A nearby star exploded and due to the shock waves of it, the dense cloud collapsed. Solar nebula. After the collapse of the dust cloud, a spinning and Swirling disk of material was formed called in solar nebula. Formation of the sun. The more and more material was pulled at the center due to the gravity, which led to the increased pressure in the core. The pressure was so great that the collision of hydrogen atoms began, which formed helium, releasing a vast amount of energy. Thus, the sun was born which gradually attracted more than 99% of the matter. 
formation of planets and other bodies. The matter in the far distance that could not be attracted towards the core started clumping together and smashing into one another, creating larger and larger objects. Some of them grew large enough which led their shaping into spheres. Thus, they became planets, dwarf planets and large moons. Structure of the solar system Take a look at this figure, the solar system source 9 planets dot organization. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ceres, Asteroid Belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Comets, Uranus, Neptune, Mekmek, Pluto, Eris, Cupiter Belt Objects. Our solar system comprises of the sun, a star, the planets bound to the sun by the gravity, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, Pluto, like uh, dwarf planets, moons, asteroids and millions, comets and metroids. We have also discovered thousands of other planetary systems in the Milky Way beyond our solar system. The planets and other bodies in our solar system are arranged in a manner. As our solar system was formed, only rocky material could bear the heat of the sun. Thus, the first four planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are nearest to the sun. As they are terrestrial planets made up of solid and rocky surfaces. Other planets that are made of gases like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are far from the sun and called Jovian planets. The eight planets of our solar system revolve around the sun in fixed elongated paths called orbits. Pluto was considered a planet until recently but the International Astronomical Union decided that Pluto like other celestial objects discovered recently can be called a dwarf planet. Difference between the terrestrial and Jovian planets Difference between the terrestrial and Jovian planets Basis of difference Terrestrial planets, Jovian planets. Basis of difference. Basis for the naming and examples of planets. Terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called the inner planets because they lie between the sun and the asteroid belt. They are also called terrestrial planets because they are made up of rock and metals and have relatively high density similar to the Earth. Jovian planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are called the outer planets because they lie outside the asteroid belt. They are also called Jovian meaning Jupiter like or gas gain planets because they are much larger than the terrestrial planets and are made up of thick atmosphere mostly of helium and hydrogen. Formation Terrestrial planets They were formed close to the parent star where the heat led the gases to condense to solid particles. Particles and Jovian planets Jovian planets were formed at quite a distant location where gases could not condense to solid particles. Present of gas and dust Terrestrial planets They were near the sun where the solar wind was most intense which blew off lots of gas and dust from the terrestrial planets. The terrestrial planets could not hold the escaping gases due to lower gravity. Jovian planets These planets were far from the sun where the solar winds were not that intense to cause removal of gases. So gases are present here. Constituents of the solar system the sun 
the sun is a huge star located at the center of the solar system it is made up of extremely hot gases it binds the solar system with its pulling force it is the ultimate source of heat and light for our solar system the sun is believed to be formed around 5 to 6 billion years ago and is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth it is the largest object of our solar system which contains nearly 98% of its total mass it appears that a gas sun has been active for the past 4.6 billion years and can go on for another 5 billion years it is also assumed that at the end the sun will start to fuse helium into heavier heavier elements and will swell up growing huge that even it will swallow the earth the sun has the following layers parts here we can see on figure the sun source dot co dot com internal structure core radiative zone convection zone subsurface flows photosphere sun spots flare chromosphere corona coronal hole prominence photosphere the visible outer layer is called the photosphere it has a temperature of around 6000 degrees celsius 11000 degrees fahrenheit sun spots these are darker and cooler areas depressions on the photosphere as compared to brighter and hotter regions of the photosphere around them having a typical temperature of 4000 degrees celsius 7000 degrees fahrenheit chromosphere this layer is placed above the photosphere and the solar energy passes through this while traveling out from the center of the sun the corona it is the outer part of the atmosphere of the sun which can only be seen during total solar eclipses Corona's outer region stretches up to space and contains particles traveling away from the sun. Solar wind it is a wind stream of energy of charged particles mainly electrons and protons and made up of plasma flowing outward from the sun. The source of these winds is the hot solar corona. and it flows at speed as speeds as high as 900 kilometers per square these winds are responsible for blowing the tails of comets back and forth from the bodies of comets as they pass through the solar system the planets mercury it is the smallest planet of our solar system and the closest planet to the sun Mercury is one of the inner terrestrial rocky planets which is a solid surface covered with craters it doesn't have any moons it takes mercury 59 earth days to complete one rotation it completes one revolution in about 88 days it is the second densest planet of the solar system the first beginning the earth its structure makes it similar to the earth The distance between Mercury and the Sun is 57.91 million kilometers. The sunlight takes 3.2 minutes to reach Mercury. The size of Mercury is about a third of the Earth. Mercury has the smallest tilt and the eccentricity of its orbit is the largest of all planets. It does not have any ring systems or known satellites. Mercury has a thin exosphere instead of an atmosphere and it is mainly composed of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium and potassium. Venus, it is the sixth largest largest and the second planet from the sun. It is the hottest and brightest planet in our solar system because its atmosphere is thick and full of carbon dioxide and clouds made up of ozone. sulfuric acid which traps heat and keeps it warm it is considered to be an active planet as it contains mountains and volcanoes 
it is similar to earth in size where earth is a little bit bigger and this is the reason why venus is considered as earth's twin they are also similar in internal structure mass volume and atmospheric components like carbon dioxide and nitrogen it rotates from east to west as opposite to that of earth and other planets and hence the sun rises in the west it also doesn't have any moons like mercury it completes a revolution around the sun in 225 days it takes 243 earth days to complete the rotation it does not have any ring systems or moons earth it is the fifth largest and third planet from the sun it is the only planet having life as far as we know it is the densest densest planet among all the planets in the solar system it is the only planet with water in liquid form which covers around 71% of the earth's surface its atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and traces of argon carbon dioxide and water it takes about 365 days and a quarter to revolve around the sun it completes one rotation on its axis in 24 hours the earth has seasons because the axis of the earth is tilted at a 23.5 degree angle mars it is the second smallest planet and fourth from the sun it is like a cold desert and is a half the size of earth it is also called the red planet because of the rusty iron on its ground mars has seasons volcanoes canyons weather and polar ice caps similar to the earth its thin atmosphere is made of carbon dioxide nitrogen and argon signs of ancient floods have been found on mars but presently water exists in thin clouds and icy dirt there have been a lot of effort to search for life on this planet it is 227.9 million kilometers away from the sun sunlight reaches mars in about 13 minutes it mars is nearly 10 times less than earth the gravity on mars is about 38% of earth's gravity mars has a lower density that lower density than that of the earth mars completes its rotation within 24.6 hours while it completes a revolution around the sun in 669.6 days the axis of rotation of mars is tilted at 25.2 degrees which is almost similar to earth thus mars also has seasons like earth although the seasons last longer than on earth the atmosphere of mars is composed of carbon dioxide nitrogen and argon gases phobos and deimos are the two moons of mars but it does not have any rings jupiter it is the biggest of eight planets and fifth planet from the sun in our solar system which is covered in swirling cloud stripes big storms like the great red spot have been found on the planet It's a gaming planet but without a solid surface and it may have a solid inner core. The mass of Jupiter is more than twice as that of all the other planets combined. Jupiter has 318 times more mass than that of the Earth. It is the fourth brightest object after the Sun, the Moon and Venus. It has the largest atmosphere composed of 90 degrees sorry 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. with the traces of methane water ammonia and rock probably it has a core of rocky material above which lies the main portion of the planet as liquid metallic hydrogen jupiter has rings composed of small grains of rocky material and they may not contain any ice jupiter has rings composed of small grains of rocky material and they may not contain any ice jupiter has 79 moons and the largest one is called ganymede which is also the biggest one in the solar system the three other moons are io 
Europa and Callisto. All these four are called the Galilean moons. Jupiter complete, completes a rotation in 9 hours and 55 minutes, which makes it a planet having the shortest days of all eight planets. It takes 4,328 Earth days to revolve around the Sun. The axis of Jupiter is tilted at 3.13 degrees. Thus, it does not experience any seasons. Saturn. From the Sun, Saturn stands sixth at a distance of 1433-3030 km. It has tiny and bright ringlets made out of ice and rock. That is why it is also called the ringed planet. Similar to Jupiter, it is also a ball of hydrogen and helium. It completes its one revolution in 29.4 Earth years. The atmosphere of Saturn mostly comprises hydrogen. The mass of Saturn is 95 times the mass of Earth. Saturn is the far farthest planet than that can still be viewed with the naked eye. It has around 82 moons. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, which is also the second largest moon in the solar system after the Ganymede. The atmosphere of Titan is made up of mostly nitrogen. Saturn is tilted at 27 degrees on its axis, which is similar to the Earth. Thus, Saturn has seasons like Earth and Mars. The density of Saturn is the lowest density of all the planets. It takes 10 hours, including 34 minutes, to complete a rotation on its axis. Saturn is one of the gas grains. Scientists believe that Jupiter is made up of gas entirely, but Saturn may have an Earth-sized solid core of rock. Uranus It is the seventh planet from the Sun at a distance of 2.9 billion kilometers. It is the third largest planet in our solar system. Uranus also rotates from east to west just as Venus, but Uranus is different from Venus in the since that it is the only known planet to rotate on its side. It has 27 known moons. The mass of Uranus is about 14.5 times the mass of Earth and its diameter is around 4 times the diameter of the Earth. The volume of Uranus is 63 times greater than that of the Earth. The gravity on Uranus is about 8.87 m by s square. Uranus takes 84 years to complete a revolution around the Sun, which is the longest period taken by all the planets. Uranus takes about 17 hours to complete one rotation. Uranus has the coldest atmosphere. Uranus and Neptune are classified as ice grains because they have similar composition with bulk chemical compositions. This makes them differ, different from other gas grains, Jupiter and Saturn. The atmosphere of Uranus is similar to that of Jupiter and Saturn in terms of its primary components that is hydrogen and helium, but still it contains more ices such as water, ammonia, methane and other hydrocarbons. Uranus has a layered cloud structure where lower clouds are made up of water and upper clouds of methane. Uranus also has faint, narrow and dark inner rings and brightly colored and easier to see outer rings. Neptune. It is the fourth largest and last of all the planets and is dark, cold and windy. It is at a distance of 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. It is the smallest of all four gas grains. Neptune is over 30 times as far from the sun as compared to the earth. Neptune is like Uranus and made of water, ammonia and methane with a solid earth sized center. The atmosphere of Neptune is made of hydrogen, helium and methane. The methane also gives Neptune a blue color. The planet has six rings which are very hard to see. It completes one revolution around the sun in above 165 years and completes a rotation in 16 hours. The layers of Neptune are made up of 29% helium and 80% hydrogen along with some traces of methane. Neptune is the smallest among the ice grains but has the 
highest density of all the gas gains. There are a total of 6 known rings surrounding Neptune. It has 14 known moons of which Triton is its largest moon and 7th largest known moon in the solar system. The solar system uh, here we can see distance, density, radius, satellites, Mercury 0.387 distance, Venus 0.723, Earth 1.000, Mars 1.524, Jupiter 5.203, Saturn 9.539, Uranus 19.182, Neptune 30.058 Density 5.44 for Mercury, Venus 5.245, Earth 5.517, Mars 3.945, Jupiter 1.33, Saturn 0 0.70, Uranus 1.17, Neptune 1.66 Radius 0 0.383, Venus 0 0.949, Earth 1.000 Mars 0 0.533, Jupiter 11.19, Saturn 9.460, Uranus 4.11, Neptune 3.88. Satellites 0 for Mercury, for Venus 0, Earth 1, Mars 2, Jupiter 16, Saturn about 18, Uranus about 17, Neptune 8. Distance from the Sun in astronomical unit that is average mean distance of the earth is 149598000 kilometers is equal to 1 density in gm by cm cube radius equatorial radius 6378 6378.137 kilometer is equal to 1 the planets of our solar system other bodies and concepts asteroid belt a small rocky body that orbits the sun. Most asteroids in our solar system are found in the main asteroid bed, a region between Mars and Jupiter, but they can also hang out in other locations around the solar system. For example, some asteroids orbit the sun in a path that takes them near Earth. The four largest asteroids of the belt are Ceres, Vesta, Pallas and Hazia, which contain half the mass of the belt. Comets. Comets orbit the sun like asteroids, but comets are made of ice and dust, not rock. Comets usually originate in the Kuiper belt, which lies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Metaurus. It is a streak of light visible in the sky when a minor piece of cometary or asteroidal material enters the atmosphere and burns because of the atmospheric friction. Metroid This small bit of comet or asteroid floats through interplanetary space before entering the Earth's atmosphere, then it is called a metroid. Metroider Metroidy Mostly the metroids enter the atmosphere and burn to become meteoros. But in some cases, the meteoroid does not burn completely and fall on the surface of the earth. The surviving object is called a meteoroid. Oort cloud. It is an extended spherical shell of icy objects in the outermost stretch of the solar system. They are considered to be the source of origin of most of the long period comets. Cooper belt. This is a region beyond the eight planets in the solar system extending from the orbit of Neptune. It is like an asteroid belt but at least 20 times as wide and 20 to 200 times as massive as that of an asteroid belt. Most of the Kuiper belt objects are made of frozen volatiles such as methane, ammonia and water. The Kuiper belt has three dwarf planets. Haumia, Pluto, and Mekmek. Look at this figure. Basic terminologies sources. 
साइंस नोट्स डॉट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेटसन मेट्रॉइड्स मेट्रियो कॉमेट आई सी बॉडी दट रिलीज गैस इज एज इट ऑर्बिट्स द सन मेटेरॉइड रॉकी और मेटेलिक फ्रैगमेंट ऑफ एन एस्ट्रॉइड कॉमेट और प्लानट एस्ट्रॉइड रॉकी बॉडी स्मॉलर दैन ए प्लानट दट ऑर्बिट्स द सन मेटेरॉइड मेटेर फ्रैगमेंट दट रीचेस द ग्राउंड मेटोर स्टेक ऑफ लाइट सीन वन ए मेट्रॉइड हेट्स अप इन दी एटमोसफेयर द ओरिजिन ऑफ द प्लानट एट एर्थ इज दर्ड एंड मोस्ट यूनिक प्लानट ऑफ अवर सोलार सिस्टम इट इज द ओनली प्लानट नोन टू बी सस्टेनिंग लाइफ हेट एंड इट वॉज फॉर मै समाइम्स फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर पॉइंट सिक्स बिलियन इयर्स एगो इट इज एट एन एवरेज डिस्टेंस ऑफ नाइंटी टू नाइन डबल फाइव एट टू जीरो माइल्स और वन फोर्टी नाइन फाइव नाइन्टी सेवन एट नाइन्टी किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम द सन इट हैज सिग्निफिकेंट फीचर्स लाइक दी प्रेजेंस ऑफ वाटर एंड एटमोस्फेरिक कंपोजिशन टू अलाउ लाइफ टू थ्राइव ऑन ऑन दिस प्लानट फ्रॉम द क्रश टू द कोर द डेंसिटी ऑफ द मेटीरियल इंक्रीजेस इट इज द लार्जेस्ट अमाउंट द टेरिस्ट्रियल प्लानट्स ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ द डेंसिटी ऑफ द मेटीरियल इंक्रीजेस It is the largest among the terrestrial planets on the basis of density, mass, and diameter, and also the fifth largest planet of our solar system. It is the third nearest planet to the sun. In shape, it is slightly flat at the poles. The reason why its shape is described as a geode. The air that appears blue from the outer surface. as its two third surface is covered by water and therefore it is called a blue planet evolution of the lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere lithosphere in the beginning the earth was in a volatile state and gradually the temperature inside the earth increased due to the gradual increase in density consequently on the basis of their density the material present inside the earth separated which resulted in the sinking of heavier materials like iron towards the center of the earth and movement of lighter material towards the surface as time passed it further cooled solidified and condensed into a smaller size later on this led to the development of the crust the outer surface of the earth further the earth was again heated up during the formation of the moon and through the process of differentiation the material forming the earth got separated into different layers thus today we have different layers of the earth like the inner core the outer core the mantle and the crust atmosphere the present atmosphere evolved in three stages the first stage where we lost the primordial atmosphere as a result of the solar winds It is supposed that the early atmosphere, which was filled with hydrogen and helium, got stripped. This happened with all the terrestrial planets. Thus, they all lost their primordial atmosphere due to the impact of solar winds. The second stage, where the Earth's hot interior contributed to the evolution of the atmosphere. as the earth started cooling down it released the gases and water vapor from its solid interior which helped the beginning of the evolution of the present atmosphere the third or final stage when the process of photosynthesis helped in the modification of the composition of the atmosphere the early atmosphere consisted of water vapor nitrogen carbon dioxide methane ammonia and their existed a very little free oxygen degassing is the process through which the gases were outpoured from the interior of the earth which contributed to the modification of the composition of the atmosphere also volcanic eruptions contributed with the gases and water vapor thus nitrogen and oxygen are the chief contributors in the present composition of earth's atmosphere hydrosphere the water vapor was released as the earth started cooling down this water vapor then then became getting condensed 
the atmosphere with carbon dioxide dissolved in rain water and a further reduction in the temperature started causing more condensation and rain the rain water started getting collected in the depressions which led to the emergence of the oceans they were formed within 500 million years from the formation of the earth which means that the oceans are as old as 4000 million years life began to evolve around 3800 million years ago the process of photosynthesis began around 2500 to 3000 million years ago for a long time life was confined to the oceans and the oceans started to contribute oxygen due to the process of photosynthesis gradually around 2000 million years ago the oceans were filled with oxygen and started to flood the atmosphere with oxygen origin of life on the earth the origin of life is considered to be a sort of chemical reaction this chemical reaction initially generated complex organic molecules and then assembled them in such a manner that they could duplicate themselves converting non living matter into living substances the rocks present today in the form of fossils suggested the record of life that existed in different periods in our planet for example a kind of blue alike much older than some 3000 million years have been found in geological formations the beginning of life has been assumed to evolve some 3800 million years ago below is the geological time scale given summarizing the evolution of life from unicellular bacteria to modern man geological time scale ons era period approach age per years before present life measure events figure geological time scale source in crt here you can see the total information about geological time scale the moon also known as luna the moon is the only natural satellite of the earth it is assumed that the moon was formed due to the giant impact or the big splat it means that a body called theia thrice the size of mars collided with earth shortly after it was formed it separated a part of the earth into space the moon revolves around the earth and it completes that revolution in about 27 days The moon is the fifth largest moon in our solar system and the second brightest object in the sun in the sky. When the moon revolves around the earth, the angle between the moon, the earth and the sun changes which we know as the cycle of phases of the moon like new moon, full moon, etc. The moon is tidally located to the earth meaning that the moon revolves around the earth is earth in about 27 days which is the same time it takes to complete one rotation also the time taken by the moon for successive new moons in 29.5 days the gap the gravitational forces of the earth and the moon cause the tides there is no atmospheric on the moon the crust of the moon is about 68 km thick on average but it varies from place to place there is a mantle and a small core probably below the crust the moon's interior is how however no longer active unlike the earth the terrain on the moon are primarily of two types the highlands that are heavily cratered and the maria maria that is relatively smooth and younger the maria are huge impact crater the impact craters on the moon surface which comprise about 16% of the surface our weight is less on the moon than on earth because the earth has higher gravity than the moon which is because of the smaller mass of the moon which is because of the smaller mass of the moon here uh, previous year's prelims questions 
what is the difference between asteroids and comets asteroids are small rocky planets while comets are formed of frozen gases held together by rocky and metallic material asteroids are found mostly between the orbits of jupiter and mars while comets are for, found mostly between venus and mercury comet shows a pers- perceptible glowing tail while asteroids do not which of the statements given above is are correct 1 and 2 1 and 3 3 only 1 to 3 answer was b 1 and 3 the term event horizon singularity string theory and standard model are sometimes seen in the news in the context of observation and understanding of the universe study of the solar and lunar eclipse placing satellite in the orbit of the earth origin and evolution of living organisms on the earth answer is a consider the following statements the earth's magnetic field has reversed every few hundred thousand years when the earth was created more than 4000 million years ago there was 54% oxygen and no carbon dioxide when living organisms originated they modified the early atmosphere of the earth which of the statements given above is are correct answer is c 1 and 3 which of the following phenomena might have influenced the evolution of organisms continental drift glacial cycles select the correct answer using the codes given below answer c both 1 and 2 previous year's main question how does the juno mission of nasa help to understand the origin and evolution of the earth 150 words 2017 the question was asked thank you